where to retire in Mexico? That's a question many ask because there are so many beautiful and safe areas, from beach towns to colonial cities. Moving to this wonderful country comes with a lot of perks. For one, the weather is warm and pleasant, just like the people and the food. Everything about Mexico is incredibly welcoming, and since many in the United States are already quite familiar with the influence of Mexican culture, moving to this southern neighborhood won't feel like a big cultural adjustment for many. Plus, Mexico is still relatively close to home, making travel easy. One of the many reasons to retire in Mexico is that renting or buying property in most parts of Mexico is quite affordable compared to the United States. Moreover, the overall cost of living is much lower. In many cities, it's still possible to live on $1,000 a month. The visa situation is also relatively straightforward. Read on to discover more about the top 10 places you might consider for retirement in Mexico. 10. Tulum. Tulum is a little slice of paradise just a short drive south of Playa del Carmen. With around 18,000 folks calling it home, Tulum stands out with its breathtaking ancient ruins and stunning natural wonders. Here, chatting in English is as easy, thanks to the many visitors who come by. Tulum wraps modern comfort in its natural beauty, offering all you could need without losing its charm. Living here is a bit pricier compared to some other spots we've talked about. With monthly costs for a comfy lifestyle ranging about $2,000, for a cozy one-bedroom apartment in Tulum's town center, you're looking at about $700 to $900 a month. If you're okay with being a bit further from the hustle and bustle, the cost drops to around $500 to $700 monthly for a similar space. But don't worry. Tulum still knows how to have fun without asking for every penny you have. There's a vibrant nightlife and plenty of places to grab a drink or enjoy a meal without spending much, plus options for simpler living that'll save you some cash. Next, we'll explore how Morelia's local Pinkstone and its status as home to the oldest music school in the Americas contribute to its charm. How does this cultural richness affect your living experience? 9. Morelia Morelia is a cozy town born in the 1500s, packed with stunning views and jaw-dropping buildings. You can walk down streets lined with buildings glowing in soft pink, all thanks to the local pink stone they're made of. Morelia isn't just about good looks. It's a place where music lives and breathes, boasting the oldest music school in the Americas. Living here is like being in a special club with a lifestyle that's hard to match elsewhere. Living in Morelia is surprisingly affordable. For everyday living, think groceries, eating out and getting around, you could be spending as little as $700 to $1,000 a month for a single person's day-to-day -day expenses. This includes your food, local travel, Renting a nice one-bedroom place in the city center could cost you around $300 to $400 a month. If you prefer a bit more peace, outside the city center, prices drop to about $200 to $300 a month. Living and renting here means enjoying the good life while keeping your wallet happy. Stay tuned to find out how Oaxaca City's vibrant streets and local traditions offer a colorful living experience. But what about the cost? Can you live comfortably here on a budget? 8. Oaxaca City Let's take a stroll into Oaxaca City, a spot on our list of the best budget-friendly places to call home in Mexico. You can go down streets where history meets today, with every turn offering a burst of color. You'll see local women in bright, handmade clothes running their shops and living their everyday lives, all while the air fills with the sounds and smells of Oaxaca's unique culture. Step outside the historic heart and you'll find it buzzing with new supermarkets, big-name stores, shiny car shops, malls, and movie theaters. It's a mix that keeps life here both exciting and comfortable. Living in Oaxaca City can be super easy on the wallet. 
people from other places have shared that you can cover all your monthly costs. We're talking a place to live, food, and everything else you need with just $900 to $1,500. Renting a cozy one-bedroom apartment right in the heart of the city will cost you about $300 to $400 a month. If you prefer a quieter spot, a little away from the city center, the price drops to around $200 to $300 a month. But keep in mind, if you're planning to make Oshaka your new home, brushing up on your Spanish will go a long way as it's pretty key to getting by here. All right, before we move on to seventh place, I have a quick question. We just talked about three amazing places and we're super curious to hear what you think about them. Perhaps you have a story or two to share. This would help us develop many new ideas for our next videos. So please leave your comments below and let's have a chat. We're looking forward to your feedback. Now let's head to our next exciting destination. We'll soon dive into how Huatulco's commitment to preserving 90% of its land impacts life in this serene location. Does this dedication to nature come at a cost to residents? 7. Huatulco Huatulco is on Mexico's Pacific coast, in the Sierra Madre Mountains, and just a short flight from Mexico City. This place is all about blending in with nature. Out of its vast land, 90% is dedicated to keeping the earth green and beautiful, while the rest make as space for folks to live and visit without crowding the scenery. Unlike the boosier spots like Cancun or Los Cabos, Huatulco has a cozy small town vibe but still gives you a genuine taste of Mexico. And living here won't empty your pockets. With around $1,500 a month, you can enjoy life in this serene spot where the cost of living is a steal compared to many places up north. For a one-bedroom apartment in the heart of Huatulco, prices hover around $400 to $600 a month. If you're looking for something a bit more spacious or perhaps a bit quieter outside the main town area, you might find something similar for about $300 to $500 monthly. You're never far from one of the 36 white sandy beaches stretching over 20 miles here. And if you wander into La Cruchachita, Huatulco's heart, you'll find all the essentials, food shops, medicine stores, and spots to eat. Huatulco is perfect for anyone looking to live well without spending a fortune, offering everything from simple pleasures to the option of a fancy lifestyle, all wrapped up in an authentic Mexican experience. Up next, Discover why Queretaro's blend of historic charm and modern amenities hasn't been widely discovered by expats yet. Could this city be the affordable you're looking for? 6. Queretaro Queretaro is a city where about a million people live, feeling happy and safe. It's got this awesome mix of old-school charm and modern goodies. Think charming historic spots, the latest shops, big malls, top-notch hospitals, places for music and art, and so much more. It's a favorite spot for folks from Mexico, but not many people from other countries have caught on to this secret yet. In Queretaro, the expat scene is pretty cozy, with mostly business folks around. A handful of retirees have decided this is their perfect spot. Why? They love wandering around the city's walkable old parts, and living here won't break the bank. You can enjoy a comfy life with everything you need for about $1,500 to $1,700 bucks a month. Renting a nice spot here is pretty affordable. On average, you might spend about $600 to $800 a month to rent a beautiful home in a nice area. This range can get you a comfortable spot that's close to all the action and amenities. And with the weather being so mild, you won't spend much on keeping your home warm or cool. Queretaro is an amazing little corner of the world to make your home. Can the bustling tourist haven of Cancun also offer an affordable and authentic Mexican lifestyle away from its famed beaches? We're about to reveal a side of Cancun many never see. 5. Cancun We're diving into the sunny vibes of Cancun, Mexico. When you hear Cancun, 
you might think of those picture-perfect beaches, fancy hotels, and lots of folks soaking up the sun. Cancun has another side, a secret that's not just about beach life. Centro, the heart of downtown, where life feels a bit more like the real Mexico, and it's way easier on your wallet. A lot of American folks looking for a sunny spot to retire are finding their paradise here, away from the pricier beachfront. And because Cancun is a tourist hotspot, many locals speak English, making it super easy for us English speakers to get around and feel at home. Moving away from the beach doesn't mean you'll miss out. There's a whole world out there in Cancun waiting to be explored, from breathtaking natural wonders like underground rivers and Mayan ruins to cozy cafes and vibrant markets. Living in Cancun is surprisingly affordable. You can find a nice place to live for about $550 to $1,000 a month in rent. And if you're thinking of buying, a house could be yours for around $250,000 for a comfortable lifestyle that includes dining out occasionally hitting the local markets for fresh produce, and maybe even enjoying some leisure activities, you'd likely spend an additional $600 to $800 a month. This means, all in, you're looking at a total monthly budget of around $1,100 to $1,800 to live comfortably in Cancun Centro. Plus, if you ever feel like popping back to the States, Cancun's busy international airport has got you covered so Cancun's Centro might just be your next home sweet home. Coming up, discover the dreamy lakeside life in Lake Chapala. How has this spot become a magnet for North American retirees and what makes it so surprisingly affordable? Four, Lake Chapala. Lake Chapala is in the heart of Jalisco, Mexico, Nearly one and a half million expats call Jalisco home, and a big chunk of them have found their slice of paradise right around Lake Chapala. This spot is pretty much a dream come true for retirees from all over, especially folks from the U.S. and Canada, with about 4,000 North Americans around. You don't need to stress about picking up a new language right away, since you'll be among many international neighbors. Plus, this place is as safe and beautiful as it gets and living here is way cheaper than what you're used to in the States. Paying just about 150 bucks a year in property taxes, or treating yourself to a hearty meal in any kind of restaurant you can think of, Thai, Chinese, or Indian, for just six to $12. In the year 2024, you can find a nice place to live for about 500 to $700 a month. This range gets you something pretty comfortable, where you can wake up to beautiful views and have enough room to host friends or family. The day-to-day -day living costs, Lake Chapala is known for being super affordable and it lives up to its reputation. For a single person or a couple, think about budgeting roughly $1,000 to $1,500 a month for everything else, groceries, eating out, enjoying local activities. Before exploring the final three places, I have a special 10-second request for all of you currently listening. If you could help me in any way, just pressing that subscribe button would mean a lot. It greatly supports this channel. And if you do that for me, I promise my team, and I will do everything we can to make this show even better for you. Do we have a deal? 3. Mazatlan Ever dream of finding a place where the beach is just steps away and you don't have to elbow your way through crowds? Mazatlan is for you, on Mexico's Pacific coast that's got miles of peaceful beaches right in the city. This place is a sweet mix of old world charm and beachside bliss, making it a hot spot for expats, but still keeping that real Mexican vibe. Mazatlan's got this historic center that's been polished up to shine. And living the good life in Mazatlan doesn't mean emptying your wallet. Imagine spending your days enjoying tasty meals out, exploring, and just soaking up the local culture, all on a budget of about $700 a month. You could live comfortably, staying in a one- or two-bedroom place near the bustling heart of Centro. Getting around won't cost much either, let's say about $38 if you mix walking with hopping on local buses. Fancy eating out, 
around $154 should cover it, bringing your total monthly cost to roughly 1,000 bucks. And if you're feeling a bit more luxurious, you could live it up for around $1,400 a month. Stay tuned to find out how Playa del Carmen evolved from a quiet fishing village to a bustling expat hotspot. What's the cost of joining this vibrant community? Two, Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen is a cozy beach town that's just an hour south of Cancun, right in the heart of Mexico's Riviera Maya. It used to be a quiet place where fishermen spent their days until one day, a famous explorer showed the world the beauty lying beneath its waters. Now, and Playa del Carmen has become a go-to spot for over 10,000 folks from all corners of the globe, be it young lovebirds, families looking for a sunny adventure, or retirees in search of paradise. The heartbeat of this town? La Quinta Avenida is a lively street where you can stroll, shop, and snack to your heart's content, all while catching glimpses of the sea. Health-wise, you're in good hands with several hospitals offering top-notch care without the hefty price tag. And when it comes to fun, Playa del Carmen doesn't hold back. Think shopping sprees, movie nights, diving into the deep blue, and sailing into the sunset. In Playa del Carmen, you can live a full, happy life with about $1,500 a month. That's a steal compared to the cost of living in many parts of the United States. In the 2024, renting a cozy spot in Playa del Carmen could cost you somewhere about $800 a month and can get you a nice apartment that's just a stone's throw away from La Quinta Avenida, where all the action is, or a tranquil spot a bit further from the beach. One. San Cristobal de las Casas. Journey into the heart of southern Chiapas to a quaint town called San Cristobal de las Casas. This place is a little slice of history nestled in the highlands, and it's catching the eyes of expats from the USA looking for that perfect mix of culture, beauty, and affordability. San Cristobal de las Casas isn't just any town. It's a place where every street tells a story, thanks to its stunning architecture. But that's not all. It's a cultural treasure trove with museums and art galleries galore. Strolling down those charming cobbled streets, popping into local shops, and feeling like you're part of a community. The markets here are bursting with stalls dishing out the real deal in Mexican cuisine, and with the town's population on the rise, you're spoiled for choice with restaurants, cafes, and bars. It's the perfect spot for anyone who loves to eat, drink, and soak in the local scene. Living here is incredibly easy on your wallet. Renting a cozy place for just $290 on average. And if you're thinking of planting roots, buying a home could set you back about $250,000. Plus, your daily essentials like food and clothing, they're just a fraction of what you'd pay back in the States. We've just journeyed through the top 10 most affordable and enchanting places in Mexico, ideal for those golden years of retirement. Each destination offers its unique blend of culture, beauty, and the promise of a cost-effective lifestyle without compromising on the pleasures of life. If you found this guide insightful and it has sparked the wanderlust within you, please hit the like button, share this video with friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to the Discover Globe channel for more adventures around the globe. We're eager to hear about your experiences and thoughts too. Have you visited any of these places or do you live in one? Perhaps you're considering making the move. Whatever your story, share your thoughts below in the comments. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.